Oh, man. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, welcome to your premiere tonight. Oh my god, thank you. No one said that to me yet. Welcome, this is your day. This is exciting. It's crazy. How are you feeling right now? I'm really good. I don't even think I believed I booked this until you were driving over here. Surprise! You nailed it. Thank you. you I feel like I tapped out the whole time this was happening, and then today I dropped in, and I was like, oh, you did this. Yeah. Anyway. It was a year ago, so it's like... It's, it was a bit. It, yeah. it was a bit. I have been waiting, I feel like, for years. But everyone's been waiting for 20 years. Almost 21. Exactly. So. Well, I mean, this movie, the original movie, has so many fans, and I know you were a fan. Like, what was it like to actually be opposite Jim and Jeff? And, and make this happen and, and reflect getting the dumb out you know it was really cool because I got to meet Jeff before we started shooting and I think that helped it kind of I don't know if I want to say set in but I, I think so when I saw him in costume on the first day I was like oh I'm on Dumb and Dumber <laughs> you know what I mean like I knew it but then it like really came alive when I saw them in costume and I have to tell you the story about Jeff it's my favorite story to tell as an actor like there was one moment where he was talking as Jeff, telling a story, and they called action, and he just dropped into Harry. And it wasn't like Jeff's playing Harry. It was like Harry's a real human being, and Jeff just, like, went away somewhere. It was so crazy, and it was so cool as an actor to, like, witness that in a second. He's so great. And working with him, I mean, Jim and Jeff, and everyone on the team, like, you guys are real actors. Do you pick up on, did you get any lessons on how to be dumb? Thank you. Um, no, I just stand naturally. <laughs> Seriously, though. <laughs> um, no, I, I, think, I think I have a little bit of, and here's an example, na naivete? <laughs> dun, Nailed dun, 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 dun. it. Um, ab about me that kind of uh, leaned towards helping me get this character right. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, yeah, um, I, and I also had a great boyfriend who was a huge fan, I have him, he's still very present in my life, um, who was a huge fan of the first movie, who actually, I, I don't know if the outcome would have been the same had he not like been giving me little directorial notes before I even went in to meet with Pete and Bobby. Well, you're officially the coolest girlfriend to be bring him on the red carpet. He's pretty <laughs> excited. It's a toss-up who was more excited about this this job. Well, when you show up to a premiere where the Mutt Cuts that van rolls in, you know it's serious business. Top five best moments of my life. <laughs> that was very cool. I had no idea they were doing that, and I'm like so happy they wore those suits. I was actually looking at a dress that wasn't available yet. It was for the, for the 15 line from the same. Um, I'm wearing Michelle Mason, and it, they had the exact blue and orange. And I was like, oh my god, I have to get those dresses. And my friend works with, with Michelle, and she's like, they're not here. I was, I was super bummed. And now that they're wearing them, I'm really super bummed. Well, Dumb and Dumber 3, when you're continuing know, the yeah. legacy. What are they going to call that? I don't know. Still dumb after all these years. Dumb, <laughs> dumbest? Still dumb. <laughs> there you go. Yep. Maybe. Still dumb. <laughs> Nailed it. Well, go have a great time tonight. Thank have you seen the movie? I have. I, never, I have never seen it with an audience yet, though. So I'm very excited about that. Well, go have a great yeah, time. It was so very much. nice to talk nice to you. To have talk. fun. Bye-bye. Ah,